We're back now to answer your legal questions. And joining me this week is Jania Coleman Lee with the Southwest Louisiana Law Center. Thanks for coming in, Jania. Always, thank you for having us, Agnes. All right, well, let's get to our first question. We purchased a home and entered into a buy or sell agreement. We acknowledged the property was being sold as is. After we purchased the house, we had the house inspected and found defects. We did sign a waiver, but is there anything we can do to hold the seller, seller responsible for the defects? As a matter of fact, you can. Now, this would be a cause of action under the legal um, auspice of retribution, which falls into two different categories. First, allows a purchaser to rescind the sale if the defect claim renders the property useless or its use so inconvenient that it must be presumed that a buyer would not have bought the thing had it known of defect. The second allows the purchaser to reduce the price where the defect diminishes its usefulness or its value so that it must be presumed that a buyer still would not have bought it but for, the, for a lesser price. Now sellers cannot avoid their representation of no defects by claiming we really didn't know. Even when a waiver is sufficient as to form and, and to attract the attention of the purchaser, it may not be effective where the seller knew or should have known of the defect and failed to declare it. So the law does provide buyers, is not the buyer is not bound by any, in any uh, otherwise effective exclusion or limitation of warranty when the seller has declared that the thing has a quality that he knew it did not have. This is in the law, I've listed the article for you, and you may be entitled to damages and you should consult an attorney. All right, now, here's our next question. What kind of cases can be filed in the city court other than evictions? Is it less expensive to file a case in city court? Can I file an appeal if I disagree with the judgment? Yes, you can. Our city court is a place that is very friendly to our public, so the city court pres pres presides over disputes and contracts, over draft and insufficient funds, wages, promissory no notes, and several other types of civil disputes up to $50,000. It does have uh, authority to decide certain juvenile, traffic, and criminal matters as well. You can find the costs and the fees listed on their website as well as forms that you may use. If you are not satisfied with the court's judgment, you may appeal it. Its decision and an appeal would permit a review of the trial judge ruling by a higher court to determine whether the judge properly applied the law and the specifics of the case. However, the trial judge's factual findings on disputed matters would not ordinarily be reversed on appeal. There are time limits on when an appeal may be filed. So if you want to file an ap appeal, you must contact an attorney immediately after the trial because the time limit is very short. All right, some good answers there, some good questions from the folks. Yes, Thanks for being here. Thank you, Agnes. Well, if you want your legal questions answered, email them to us at news at kplctv.com. We'll send them along to the good folks over at the Southwest Louisiana Law Center, and you'll get your answers every Wednesday right here on 7 News at noon. Remember, civil matters only, please.